All right, let's look at this situation. If you wish an example, before I even do anything else, I'm gonna rewrite these as straight up equations. Two P's plus four R's equals 380. And switch this color. Three P's plus four R's equals 360. Uh, no, no, plus three R's. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna refer to these as remotes because PS4 versus PS5 remotes is gonna confuse me. P and R will be easier. It's one of the reasons we use variables sometimes. When you're looking at this, at first it might look a little rough. How can I get one of these variables by itself? How can I do my first step? But there's actually a couple different things that you could do. I'm going to solve this more than one way so that you can see a couple different tricks that we could use. One trick is if you have matching coefficients, 3 and 3, I could always take the green equation and just cut everything down by one third, right? If 3 of each of these cost $360, then one will cost one third of that, $120, all right? One of each type of remote costs $120. And then I could, from there, I could either leave the R by itself or the P by itself, okay? So let's say I, I wanna leave R by itself, then I have to subtract P from both sides. All right, and now I've isolated a variable and can use it to substitute. Now I don't, I, I was using the green, I've been using the green formula to do this isolation, so I don't wanna substitute back into the green formula, that's gonna cause problems. I'm gonna substitute into the white formula, okay? So I haven't used this yet, and I'm gonna replace R with 120 minus P. And from there, it's, it's, it's pure algebra, which you should be good with by now. Two P's plus distribute this 480 minus four P's equals 380. Combine my like terms, two minus four is negative two. Uh, subtract 480 from both sides, negative 100. 380 minus 480, negative 100. Divide both sides by negative two, and we got P equal to 50. And I'm only, I'm only half done. I figured out what P is, I didn't figure out what R is yet, but pretty simple to grab this equation up here at that point and say now that I know P is 50 okay R must be 70 interesting because if we look at the controllers that means that the person that wrote this problem made the PS5 controller cheaper than the PS4 controller P cost 50 bucks R cost 70 bucks uh, that's that's counter to what I what I would think, which makes me wonder, person who wrote this problem, did they really uh, test their numbers out, or did they or did they just put random stuff in there? Coming back up here, delete all this out. What's a different way we could approach this? Uh, I could do I could actually with this one I could actually do something similar with the white equation to start out. I'm not going to go all the way through this, but I could I could split everything in half. Two P's and four R's. If I cut that down to just one P and two R's, I would be cutting this in half. All right. And then I could say um, subtract two R from both sides. P is the same as $190 minus two of those remotes. 
Okay. Mm, maybe I will. Maybe I will just might as well finish it. So this time, replacing P. Grab this. Instead of P, I'll replace it with 190 minus two R's and then solve this algebraically. So, three times 190 is 390, 480, 570, 570 minus six R's plus three R's equals 360. Subtract 570 from both sides and combine my like terms. We'll have negative 3r's equal negative 210. Divide by negative 3, we got r equals 70, which we already knew. r equals 70. And then I could grab this equation. One ninety minus one forty p equals fifty again, which we already knew from the first time we solved it, but solving it a different method. Okay, there's a third way that I could isolate that variable. Um, if I do something like this, get very creative. Four r's minus three r's is one r. I could subtract, I could subtract out this whole, this whole equation. So white equation minus green equation gives me yellow equation, negative P, right? Negative one P plus one R equals 20 bucks, all right? That's telling me that the difference between the two remotes is 20 bucks. All right, how did I do that? Two minus three is negative one, four minus three is one, 380 minus 360 is 20. All right, and again, add that P to both sides. We know that the, the, the one remote is $20 more than the other remote. Okay, then you could again use this, go into this equation. and replace. Instead of writing R, I'll write 20 plus P. Bang, solve, solve, solve. Three P's plus 60 plus three more P's equals 360. Six P's equals 300. P equals 50, come back into this equation, 20 plus 50 is 70, right? I get my 50 and my 70. So there's a bunch of different ways that you could, bunch of different pathways that you could take. Actually, you could, uh, you could subtract it the other way, green minus white instead of white minus green, and then we would have three minus two, positive one P plus negative, R equals negative 20. All right, same kind of deal. Anyway, long story short, lots of pathways, lots of different tricks you could use to try to isolate a variable. And next week, we'll even talk about more ways that I could solve the same thing using a different kind of jutsu.